After doing the crankshaft level, we decided that it would be impossible to finish this game with levels that are that size. <laughs> so um, we decided we we were kind of in this mode where, okay, that was a that was a a regular big level, and we'll also do these smaller levels that are kind of bon like bonusy. And we w w wanted to do one that was you know, like just pretty much all secure, you know, as much security as I could put in. So this is this is kind of going to be a small. Small security level, and it ended up being actually pretty large. Good, it's good, great size. Good, a good size. For security in the game, we decided to go with a kind of one free hit per system, I guess you could say, where they're kind of in sensor mode. They're yellow. They're in, and they don't actually cause a, cause damage to you if you trigger it, but it sets off the alarm and changes them to a damage, you know, this kind of red damaging state. And we primarily did that, you know, for inexperienced players to to give them an extra, you know, a, an extra chance to get through uh, instead of just burning, you know, just hurting them every time. And also because we like the idea of you running around while the alarms are blaring and you're, it's kind of, it's loud, it's it's a little disorienting, it's something, if it Im immediately burned you, you would, a lot of people would probably, you know, like die then and wouldn't get that experience of running around while the alarms are blaring. So we thought that that was a good thing. So we, we, we switched to the kind of one free hit, I guess, per, per system. Being under, we were under really tight constraints, the challenges of creating this environment, we, uh, one of our best traits is that we have a great way of communicating. So between the designer, modeler, and texturers, we made sure that whatever we were creating could get done in the time we had available. We really adjusted when we had to. We adjusted things in the model to work for gameplay. And then also before I did my final handoff, I really talked to the texture artist because he had like a limited amount of time and said, hey, this is what I did. You know, um, I really tried to make it, model it toward him being able to texture it in a fast period of time and also look great. So it was really great. We really talked about, and we learned a lot about our game designer process through this. We, after this, um, Rob started doing almost all the elevation in final, uh, didn't, doing any turns, mm -hmm. um, adding any ele elevation changes. And so it really helped the whole process along the way. And this is also our, I think our last, uh, last level ahead split. Oh. Collision versus like yeah. what you see on screen versus what you, like kind of the physics that you're running around on. So this this really was a transition. Yeah, yeah a transition from how we did levels, and it, it was uh, I think it, it really helped us helped us get in a position where we could finish the game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally true. We do we, we do stuff fast. Yeah.